Hey there, and welcome to our video on five steps to start journaling. In previous videos, I shared five reasons achievers struggle to journal and listed seven major benefits of journaling. In this video, I'll give you practical steps to get started and show how the full focus journal makes journaling easy. Step one is to pick a format. You may prefer a yellow legal pad or a journal you already have on hand, but I recommend the full focus journal. It's intentionally designed to look and feel good, so you'll feel comfortable carrying it wherever you go. Step two is to choose a template. The blank page is not your friend. It can be intimidating to know what to write and leads to wasted time. So you'll want to find a journaling template that guides your daily reflection. You can even build a format for yourself. Just determine what questions will encourage you to answer. Keep in mind, you should be able to put pen to paper within seconds of reading your writing prompts. The full focus journal is built around eight daily questions, plus a surprise bonus question each day. The two page structure provides plenty of room to answer whichever questions are most relevant to you. It also includes monthly reflections, so you can consider patterns that span multiple days. Step three is to choose a dedicated time. Choose whether you will be journaling in the morning or in the evening. You may need to rearrange part of your routine to add journaling in. I design my day with my full focus planner and journal. I start by defining my daily goals each morning in my planner, and I process my experiences each evening in my journal. By combining these practices, I'm able to live intentionally each day. Step four is to set a trigger. At the beginning of any habit, you need to set a daily cue to prompt the intended action. You may need to set a calendar alert or create an alarm. If you already follow a morning or evening ritual, carve out space within that time to process your day. Additionally, you can invite your spouse to join you in daily journaling. Select a time together when you'll sit down for a reflection. Step five is to commit to journaling for 30 days. If you quit a week into your journaling attempt, you won't see results, but practice reflection for a month and you're bound to feel the positive effects. Determine to push through the barriers for the first 30 days and every day after will feel easier. And if 30 days of journaling makes an impact on your life, imagine what a decade can do. You'll gain perspective and live with gratitude. You'll also supercharge your clarity and make better decisions. Before the Full Focus Journal, I thought journaling was painful and boring. Now I look forward to my journaling practice and manage to complete it in only 15 minutes a day. I'm excited for you to be able to say the same. The Full Focus Journal is built around eight simple but significant questions, plus a bonus question each day. Its convenient five by seven size makes it perfect for on-the-go achievers. And the monthly reflection gives writers a holistic understanding of every season. There's also an experience tracker where you can record special moments and life lessons. I'm convinced the easiest way to start your journaling habit is with the Full Focus Journal. Buy one today at fullfocusjournal.com.